Hey guys, uh, today in this lesson we'll want to go ahead and continue on with our simplifying uh, expressions. So now we're going to be multiplying rational expressions, okay? So just like the previous videos, we're going to go ahead and factor as much as we can. And then we're going to go ahead and simplify. Uh, remember that monomials factor out with monomials, they simplify out. Same thing binomials with binomials. Okay, in this video we're going to simplify. Acuérdense que vamos a factorizar lo más que podamos antes de cancelar. So let's go ahead and start factoring out. So this guy's already on monomial. It's pretty much uh, simplified. I'm going to go ahead and factor everything else. Remember, this guy here, hopefully you guys can see, is... Okay, this is a, a factor. Se factoriza, this would be n plus 3, n, n más 3, n más 2. Okay. This guy right here, n squared minus 4, would be n plus 2, and then n minus 2, a difference of perfect squares. Uh, diferencia de un cuadrado perfecto. Okay, ahora este here, this one you're thinking, well, what can I factor out? Remember, the first rule of factoring, is there a common factor? And the answer is yes. So we're going to take out a 5 and an n. Le vamos a sacar el 5, y también le vamos a sacar la n. So we're going to factor out a 5, okay, and an n. And what does that leave us inside? That's going to leave us with n plus 2. So now that everything's factored out, we can start um, simplifying out. Ahora que todo está factorizado, podemos comenzar a cancelar. So the n plus 2 on the top with the n plus 2 on the bottom. And let me see, anything else? Nope. The only thing I can do is these monomials. Podemos simplificar estos dos acá. Okay. Esta n, this n can cancel out with one of the ends on the top. Una n de acá puede cancelarse con una de, de acá arriba. Now what about 35 and 5? We can divide that. 35 y 5. Okay. Um, 5 divided by 5 is 1. 35 divided by 5 is 7. Okay. And so that's what we're left with. So now my final solution would be 7n times n plus 3. Nos va a quedar 7n. Remember, we have one left here. Acuérdense que nos quedó una de ahí arriba. And then the n plus 3. Okay. And what about on the bottom? On the bottom, we're just going to have these two. n plus 2 times n minus 2. Okay. And you don't have to multiply it out. You can just leave it factored. Your professor will just tell you to leave it like this. No tienen que multiplicar. No tienen que... Uh, hacer nada más, se queda así nomás, solamente. All right, and that's, that's your answer right there. That's your simplifying, you're multiplying these rational expressions. So that one wasn't too bad. Let's go ahead and see, you can, see if we can do some more. Vamos a hacer otras más. Okay, same thing here. This guy is already much pretty much done, so I'm going to factor these three here. Okay, voy a factorizar este, ya se se queda. We're going to factor this guy. Okay, you can pause the video and see if you guys can figure it out on your own. But this guy is going to factor out into m plus 4 and m plus 3. Okay, now what about this guy over here? That one's going to give us m minus 5 and m plus 4. So I'm expecting and I'm hoping that you guys are pretty good at factoring now. Okay, and what about this one? Remember the first rule of factoring, is there a common factor? Yes, the 4 and uh, an m. Acuérdense que la primera regla es de factorizar lo que hay en común. And what I teach my students is, is uh, factoring is kind of like um, dividing. So we know 4 goes into it, 4 le entra los dos, and then what else? This guy has 3 m's, this guy has 2. So we can take out actually 2. Le podemos quitar 2. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and factor it. Whatever's on the bottom, we take it out. 4m squared, you're left with, now we do the math. 24 divided by 4 is 6. m cubed over m squared is m minus, and then 4m squared divided by 4m squared, that just gives you a 1. Okay, so now everything's factored. Ahora todo está factorizado. Now, let's see, what can we cancel out? See, m plus 4, m plus 4 over here. This guys can cancel out. Just make sure one's on the top and one's on the bottom. We're dividing this, okay? So m plus 4 divided by m plus 4, that becomes a 1. Okay, what else can I factor? Mm, nothing else. We can fact, can simplify these two here. 
monomials, so the 4 divided by 4. Now what about m6 divided by m squared? 6, take away 2, remember, you're going to subtract. El 4 divide el 4, el 6 acá arriba, 2 acá abajo, 6 le quito 2, me va a quedar 4. Okay, so we're going to be left with 4 on the top, and then m minus 5, and then on the bottom, we're left with m plus 3, and then 6m minus 1. Acuérdense, estos dos se cancelan con dos de acá arriba, que me quedan 4. Okay, remember, the 2 down here cancel out with 2 up here, and you're left with 4 on the top. So then this would be your final answer and solution. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and keep working. Let's see if we can do a few more examples. All right. All right, let's see here. Y squared minus 16. Remember this guy, the difference of perfect squares. So this would become Y minus 4 and then Y plus 4. All right. What about on the bottom? Remember, common factor. What's the common factor? It's a y. Hay una y que se puede quitar. So then this becomes y minus 4. That's it. You don't have to do the x factor or anything like that. Next, let's go here on the top. The 3y, well, that's just a monomial, so we're just going to leave them. And then we have this guy here, y squared plus 9y plus 20. So you're going to factor that into y plus 5, y plus 4. Okay? So notice how we factored everything now. All right? So now what can we cancel out? ¿Qué podemos cancelar? Well, let's see. Y plus 4, Y plus 4, Y minus 4, Y minus 4. What else? ¿Qué más? Notice that this Y is by itself, and then this is also a monomial. Monomial, monomial. Esta Y con esta Y también. So this can simplify out. So what am I left with? Well, you're going to be left with, on the top, there's nothing here. So we're left with 3. What about at the bottom? Just y plus 5. And that's it. Yes, es todo. Así se queda. So let's keep going. Do another example. Vamos a hacer otro ejemplo. What about this guy? Now you see how we have a 2 in the front. Now just a little bit more complex, but much the same. So this, hopefully you can factor it out. You can have 2x. Let's see. What is that? Uh, I believe it's plus 1. And then x plus 2. 2x más 1, x más 2. What about the bottom? Difference of perfect squares. So you should get x minus 2 times x plus 2. Okay, multiply and keep it the same. What about the top? Factor out as well. That should give you x minus 3 and x minus 1. Negative 3, negative 1 will give you the negative 4x. And negative 3 times negative 1 will give you that positive 3 that you need. What about the bottom? You're going to go ahead and factor it. 2x, let's see here, that would be plus 1, and then x minus 3. So 2x times negative 3 would give you the negative 6x, plus the 1x would give you the negative 5, and 1 times negative 3 was the negative 3. Okay, entonces lo que estamos haciendo es factorizando todo. Factorizando lo de arriba, este de acá abajo, este de acá arriba. Ahora vamos a poder cancelar. Now we're going to go ahead and cancel stuff out but it's not canceling it's actually dividing simplifying it out so 2x plus 1 divided by 2x plus 1 that becomes just a 1 x minus 3 over x minus 3 that's another 1 x plus 2 x plus 2 so what am I left with well if you notice x minus 1 over x minus 2 here it is x minus 1 over x minus 2 and there it is you just did it all right, last one, guys. Let's go ahead and see if we can do this one. Notice here, before we factor, is there a common factor? Yes, hay número en común. El 3, we take out a 3, we take out an n. You're left with n minus 4. Okay. What about the bottom? Is there a common factor? Yes. A 2. And also n squared, n cuadrada. Okay. So what am I left with? You're left with n plus 4. 3. All right. So that's the first rule of factoring. Is there a common factor? If so, then you can factor it out. If you don't know what I'm talking about, see if you can go to a previous video and um, 
it'll help you out to understand what we're doing here. What about this guy? Is there a common factor? Absolutely, yeah. There's a fa common factor here, 2, and then you have n squared minus 9. Okay? And then what about the bottom one? Same thing. You have, you're going to factor that out, n minus 5, n minus 3. Okay? Now, if you notice, can I factor this out? Yes. Puedo factorizar esto. This is a difference of perfect squares. Okay? So, let's go ahead and move this over here and rewrite it so we have 3n times n minus 4 okay you have 2n squared and then n plus 3 okay now we have 2 and then this is a difference of perfect squares so we're gonna write n minus 3 and then n plus 3 and then on the denominator we have n minus 5 and n minus 3 now we can start simplifying stuff out. So what can we simplify out? Let's see, n plus 3, n plus 3. Uh, n minus 3, n minus 3. Good. The 2, el 2 se acá arriba y el 2 se acá abajo. What else? One of the n's. So this n is going to cancel with one of these n's. And looks like that's it. So on the top, the numerator, you have 3 times n minus 4. Okay n minus 4. On the bottom, be careful, you still have one n here and then you have n minus 5. Cuidado porque todavía tiene una n acá, después n menos 5. Okay, so hopefully that helps guys and all it is is a lot of factoring. Remember the first rule of factoring, is there a common factor? Once you factor everything, you can start simplifying everything out. Acuérdense, factoricen todo antes de comenzar a cancelar. Okay, guys, so hopefully that helps. Let me know if you need any more examples. All right, guys, good luck.